series of poems, uh, the persona poems, they're all sort of centered around this Sicilian mobster by name Luciano Serafino. Um, so there's like one in the voice of one of his early partners who does robberies with him, one in the voice of his lover, one in the voice of a hitman who works for him, and so on. This is the one in the voice of his lover. Even now, the affair over the church empty, I cannot do a thing but tear off this Italian suit and rage at the mirror, at all the vain accoutrements of love Luce gave him. Nights out on the town he charmed, small gifts at prices she could not guess. A ring she still wears on her finger. A child who still wears his face. She had him turned around so bad he thought he could forget. Forget our need in a world made for men unlike ourselves. Gossamer etching shadow across her features. She stood regal in public. She who failed to answer the voice of his blood, the voice singing under his shirt for a supplicant, a man to worship the brutal fact of his body, to beg from him a carnal grace. I knew the talk on every corner's sideways mouth, how Serafino washed his bloodied hands in wine, toweled off with hundred dollar bills. But I knew so many ways to make him clean. I bathed him in my impure mouth. I held his stone of grief, his stone of fury, in my body's egress until his sweat confessed. Men like us only find salvation in the dark. I never needed him to own me like his woman did, or to claim his flesh for myself alone. I would have liked to. To be more than a lingerie whore bent into his shadow's shape. But I knew the way he prayed and hollered in my skinny arms. I knew Luce came to me for more than he could bear. Rougher each time he touched me, I wept and bruised. He smeared his spit across my boyish face. Desire will bury a man easy as money. Our affair could end no other way. My arms made a ring around his neck so perfect. I used to think God measured us for each other with his own seamstress tape. I nearly crawled into the coffin to wrap my arms around his corpse. But no one knew me in that place. And if those men had known me, they would have buried me years 